There was a recent report that uh, perceived frontrunner Pierre Polyev uh, has signed up hundreds of thousands of new members uh, to potentially vote for him. Um, could we see a, a first run win potentially by Polyev? If the numbers hold up, yes. And you know, the thing is, is that Polyev for all intents and purposes is claiming victory, right? Uh, by some reports, there are 600,000 members and Poiliev is claiming to have over 300,000. You know, it doesn't take a lot of uh, math to figure out that at least Poiliev thinks that he's the uh, not only the front runner, but that he could potentially win on the first ballot. But, you know, in these ranked ballot scenarios can be quite interesting in results. And here's here's one of Michael, here's one of my favorite factoids mm. in the most recent uh, conservative leadership, with which had a ranked ballot. And this factoid has to do with uh, Leslie Lewis. Leslie Lewis, you know, has carved out uh, a niche and a following for herself in the uh, in the Conservative Party of Canada, being very socially conservative. And on the second ballot, when the after the first ballot was done and they started reallocating votes, mm -hmm. Leslie Lewis actually won or had and garnered more votes than either Aaron O'Toole or Peter McKay but it wasn't efficient at converting into points. So how's this? She's gonna be a person to watch hmm. uh, in terms of potential growth, not necessarily on the first ballot, but if it does go to a second ballot, I think it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with her numbers and how, whether she has, uh, or what type of growth potential that she might have. But we may be in a situation that perhaps Leslie Lewis could outpace some hmm. of the other front runners, such as, Jean Charest and uh, Patrick Brown. Uh, I don't think she's going to unpace Poiliev because he's got a different kind of thing going, but it's going to be interesting to see uh, whether uh, whether she performs well. But she performed very well in the last Conservative leadership, uh, just on a vote-by-vote -vote basis, but just wasn't efficient at converting into points.